Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to go over a question that we need to resolve the force F1 into components uh, acting along the U and V axis. And we need to determine the magnitudes of each component. So uh, if we look at the question, there are some angles that are missing. So the first step in this question is to find these angles. Uh, let's just start with this one. Uh, so since the whole thing from here to here is 180 degrees uh, We can simply find that angle which will be 180 minus 75 uh, minus 30 and if we do that it would be 180 minus uh, 105 and we'll get 75 for this angle uh, We can do the same thing for the other angle now that we have the 75 angle same thing this will be 180 as well so 180 minus 75 minus 30 uh, minus 30 would be uh, 60 plus 75 135 and this angle would be 45 degrees now that we have these angles um, uh, it should be easy to find the um each component so what we have in here will be uh this would be the f1 v component and this would give us the f1 uh, u component uh we can either use the law of uh, the parallelogram rule or the triangle rule and we can find uh each of these components from either parallelogram rule or the triangle rule. So if we look at this triangle here, uh, I'm going to draw it here. So we'll have the F1 uh, along the V-axis. This will be the F1 on Uh, along the U axis and this is obviously the F1 which we know is 4 kilo newton uh, so from the question we know this is 30 degrees uh, we don't know what's that angle and we have to figure out this angle as well then after that we can do the law of sine and we can easily find the magnitude of each So now that we have, so this angle here that we need to find is what we have in here, which would be the same as this angle since these two are parallel, uh, parallel line. And this will be the line that uh, goes across these two parallel lines. So, there, so we have these two angles the same, which is 45 degrees. Now that we have these two, we can easily find the last angle we knew. Uh, we know that the the sum of all angles in triangles 180 and 180 minus 30 plus 45 would be the angle that we have in here. This will be 75 degrees and we can find that angle 105 degrees. Now that we have this uh, we can use the law of sine and for that we have uh, F1 over sine of 105 equals to if we do F1 along the U axis over the sine of 30 degrees so from here we can uh, easily find so we know F1 is 4 and the only unknown that we have in here is F1 the U component which is simply 4 times sine of 30 over sine of 105 and this would give us Two 
2.07 kilonewton and this is what we have for um, the U component of F1. Uh, now that we have this, we can do the law of sine for uh, the V component as well. Again, we have the same thing. And in the next step, we'll have this time the F1 V component over sine of uh, so will be this one and the angle would be 45 degrees again we know f1 is 4 kilonewton and from here we can find the v component very easy 4 times sine of 45 degrees over sine of 105 which would give us 2.93 kilo newton. so that would be the final answer for this question so we found the uh, f1 u and v components and we found the magnitude of each which was what we have in here